Hey, this is Joe from JoeCollinTurner.com, and in this video, we're going to check out how to use UFT12's brand new functionality to run QTP scripts on a remote Mac within Safari. How cool is that? Check it out. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go get the UFT connection agent. So you just want to navigate to the UFT functional testing folder you have local on your machine. And then you want to go into the MSI folder, then go into the HP folder, then there should be a unified functional testing folder, and under there should be an installations folder, and then under installations there's a Safari folder. And under Safari, you want to connect UFT connection agent.dmg and bring it on over to your Mac computer. All right, so I'm on my Mac machine right now, and I'm just going to go to my USB drive where I copied UFT connection agent. I'm just going to double click on the UFT connection agent. It's pretty much a straightforward install. You just take all the defaults. And so you should get this pop-up. Click on install. So now if you go to your system, you should now see an option for HP UFT connection agent. Just double click on that will allow you to configure the different settings. So right now it just shows that the agent is running so HP does recommend that when you're not using the UFT connection agent to disable this agent because it's not really secure. So this number must match the number defined in UFT and in the unified functional testing agent extension in Safari. Also for this log folder, you just want to make sure you have uh, permissions to write to this folder. And so you can specify the agent log level that you want to have. There's fatal error, warn, and debug. And basically, this log is going to be saved in a log file called uftagent.log in this folder location. And so for this last one, the UFT Safari extension logs, you really don't need to enable this unless uh, I think HP might use this for debugging purposes for issues that you might have. So it, they, they may ask you to turn this on if for some reason you tried this and had different issues that they needed to debug and get more information for. So normally, you probably want to always keep this off. All right, so now that we have the agent installed on the Mac machine, let's hop on over to our Windows machine that has UFT and configure UFT so we're able to connect to this machine. Okay, so under UFT, I'm just going to create a new, a new test for GUI testing. I'm going to call it Remote Mac Test. There is now underneath the uh, toolbar for UFT, there's a new option called Remote Connection. So click on that Remote Connection button and the Remote Connection window should appear. Basically, this is where you're going to enter in either your machine's host name or the IP address followed by the port 882. So I'm just going to enter in my IP address. And once you have that entered, you want to click on the Connect button. And if everything goes well, you should see a connection checkbox. Click on close. And so for this, I'm just going to create a very simple example where I'm going to connect to Safari and just open up a browser that navigates to joecalantonio.com. So I'm just going to go to my recording uh, settings. And underneath recording and run setup, I'm just going to open up. I'm just going to joecalantonio.com. And then for the browser, I'm going to select, I'm going to select Safari and my IP address for my machine that I want to connect to. Just click apply. And then hit run. And now what it's going to do, it's connected to my Mac machine. And that's successful. It brings up the report. No errors. How cool is that? We just had UFT launch Safari on a remote Mac machine. That's pretty cool. And it was pretty easy, as you could see. It's a nice, easy setup and no issues. Um, surprisingly, I'm surprised on how easy that was. 
Hope you have the same luck. Cheers.